I, I also have a, a thing about that. Like, one of the weird thoughts I had recently, uh, I was, I'm making a video on Gwen Stacy and, like, kind of a character analysis or character study, really looking at her, like, breaking down who she is, what her values are, and just compiling who she is. Because sometimes people say she has no personality, so I kind of wanted to uh, sum that up. But it's, like, uh, one of the weird thoughts I had which is also, like, I'll be curious to see how my videos age, because uh, Gwen Stacy is a character who's gone... Like, all the entire Spider-Man character has gone through more change in the last decade than it probably ever has. Uh, it's like the last decade gave us Spider-Verse, the idea that anybody can be Spider-Man, all of that that you see so often quoted, wasn't a thing when I grew up, and that was 2000. So it's... The character has changed more than ever. And Gwen Stacy is one of those characters where it's like, right, you say, like, it's like, oh, what about point of view of 60s kid? Yeah, that point of view doesn't exist anymore. Like, even mine, like, was like, Gwen Stacy is the girl who the things happen, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like this kind of thing where that's what I knew about her and nothing else. Nobody really talks about Gwen. She was just kind of a mystery for me. 60s kids probably apparently weren't very happy with Conway, but then you look at modern kids, and it's like, they are. They've grown up with Spider-Verse. They know Gwen Stacy as Spider-Gwen. Like, I I do wonder how many people are going to, in just a couple of years, if not already, will stumble upon something like my videos or like these old books and be like, wait, what happens? Like, what what's going on here? Like, they'll be shocked because like Gwen Stacy is just not recognizable and most people don't know the original character that well. So even when my generation was coming up, it's like people talked about Gwen, but how many actually understood or knew her? And actually read that story. See, it was just an idea they had. So it's like you think about uh, the uh, what is it like the modern Spider-Gwen fans, and it's like I'll be very curious. Uh, I hope the original doesn't get lost because I, I like her quite a bit. But it's an interesting thing where it's like uh, the point of view you come in j alters how you view these things a lot, and uh, that will be fascinating. But I'll talk from a point of view about two thousand skits essentially. Uh, I grew up with Straczynski, uh, you know, like, uh, to me, like, my favorite Spider-Man artist is probably, like, uh, like, uh, Romita Jr., right? It's like, because that was my Spider-Man artist, that's what I got used to, so that's what I think of, so that's my point of view, and it's like, I try to sometimes imagine what it's like being in the 60s or 70s, but I can't really get it down, I ultimately, I come from my point of view, and it's all I can offer, so I try to hold to that, I, tr 